Hello, this video is going to be extra exercises about the microscope. First, I have put a question about label the following instrument. When you have a question that starts with the verb label, that means you have a picture and you have to name some parts that are uh, labeled by an arrow. So let's start to uh, solve the first one. For example, here we have an arrow. So this is the eye piece. So I will start. So label, it means name the part. So this is the eye piece. Then we have another arrow here. These parts, we know that they are called the objective. Okay, so these parts, they are objective. I can write objectives or uh, objective, okay? Then we have here and we have another part here and we have another part i will start with this this is the easiest part it's about the light source or the lamp so i can write both of them they are correct we can write light source or we can put just a lamp then i have two arrows here these two parts they are a little bit uh, uh, similar to each other and some students, they uh, make uh, mistakes to differentiate between them. Always, always, if you have these two buttons, they are um, separated from each other. So the bigger one, it will be called the course adjustment knob. Okay, so always the bigger one, it is called course adjustment knob while the smaller one it will be called fine adjustment knob and if they are together the one that is outside it will be the fine adjustment knob and the one that is inside the bigger one will be called the coarse adjustment knob okay this is for the label so after we labeled the parts, now we have another question, which is name this instrument. So what is the name of this instrument? This instrument is called the microscope. Okay. Now the question number two. Pay attention. I know I have made many questions. They can be uh, uh, suitable for a worksheet to do, for a quiz to do, or for just studying and evaluating ourselves. Indicate the function of the following parts. Now we have another question, which is different from number one. They just give us three parts in the microscope and we have to say their function. What do they do? First, they give us the base stage and number three is revolving nose piece. So in base, we can say that the base is the part that carry all the parts of the microscope. So we can say that carries all parts of the microscope. The second one, the stage, I can say that it's the place where we put the slide to be examined. So stage, it's a place where we put the slide to be studied or to be examined. Also, you can say that to put the slide that has the object that we want to study it or we want to examine it. Finally, revolving nose piece, we can say that it's the part that carry the objectives. Okay, so this question, it's from our study to the lesson. If we didn't study the lesson, we cannot answer it. That's why we should memorize every part. How does it look like so that we can label any picture and every part, what uh, does it do? Now, number three, we have a problem solving question. This problem solving question, it depends on our understanding for the lesson and also it depends on our study. Let's see the question. Mazen. A student in grade six wanted to use the microscope to examine blood cells. So he wanted to study 
the blood cells, the cells that are in our blood, how do they look like, what do they have? So he brought a transparent slide and placed blood uh, drop on it. So he brought a transparent slide and he put drop of blood on it. Then he put the slide on the stage, which is in the, on the microscope, plucked the microscope in electricity, he put it in electricity, and then he started to look through the eyepiece, and then he put his eyes on the eyepiece to look through it and to see the blood cells. But the surprise was that he saw darkness, so he didn't see anything. The question is, explain why Mazin saw darkness. So everything that he should do it, he did it. He put it on a slide, and then he put the slide on the stage. He put the microscope in the electricity, and then he didn't see anything. Why do you think this happened? If we follow the steps that Mazin did them, first, he brought the microscope, and then he put the slide, uh, and he put the blood on it. He put it on the stage. Till now, everything is correct. Plucked the microscope in electricity. He put it in electricity. And then he started to look through the eyepiece. So he put the microscope in the electricity and then he put his eyes on the eyepiece. So we have a missing step here, which is he didn't turn on the light. Yes, he put the microscope in electricity, but we have a button on off. So he didn't turn on the light. That's why he saw darkness. So this question, it shows the importance of the light in the microscope. That's why we have a light source so that it can give, how it can enlighten the object so and reflects its image so that we can see it. So why Mazin saw darkness? Because simply he did not turn the light source. Or you can say that, he, uh, there is no light in this microscope. So no light, that means we will have darkness. Okay, so this is a question to show the importance of the part that is the light source or the lamp. So that even if we put the microscope uh, in a room that has light or beside the window, it's not important that we have light around the microscope. The most important thing is that the light comes from the microscope and it should hit the slide so can image is reflected and we can see the object. Okay, but let's move to the fourth question. Riwa wanted to see if she has germs on her skin. So she wanted to see is her uh, if the skin is clean or dirty, if it is dirty, does it have germs on it? So what does she do? So she brought a microscope, it, because germs, they are uh, microorganisms, yani, uh, so tiny, so we cannot see them by our eyes. So she brought a microscope and put her hand on the stage. So directly she put her hand on the stage and then turned the microscope on. So we have light in the microscope. And it turns and it turned it on. Uh, we have the object to be studied, which is the skin and our hand. But the surprise, she couldn't see anything. Why Riwa didn't see anything, although it turns the light on? Now, in this question, I have light. But why Riwa didn't see or couldn't see anything? Because simply it puts it put her hand on the stage. And as you know, hands, they are opaque. Opaque means that they are not transparent. So light does not pass through them. Light stops at them. So when she put her hand, the light source is turned on. The light goes from the light source up to the stage. On the stage, I have my hand or the hand of Riwa. And the hand of Riwa is opaque. It's thick, so the light will not pass it through it, so it stops. So nothing will be reflected, so I cannot see anything. Okay, this is why Riwa couldn't see anything.
because simply she didn't use transparent slide. She used her opaque hand. Okay? Now, number five, another kind of question. Indicate. When we have a question that starts with indicate, that means you have only to answer by giving the name of the object that I'm asking you about without explanation, without saying why, without saying because. Indicate the missing parts in each of the following microscopes. We have two microscopes. In each of these microscopes, I have one part that is not found. We have to guess it. So in the first one, we have a microscope. We have the revolving nose piece. We have the objective stage. This is the course. This is the fine adjustment knob, light source base. So I still have one part that is very important so that I can put my eyes uh, on it and see which is the, exactly, the eye piece. So here is the missing part. I don't have eye piece. So the missing part here is the eye piece. So easily I can just answer eye piece without saying why, without justification, because I have indicated. In the second microscope, I have the eye piece. And I have the revolving nose piece, objective, stage, course adjustment, fine adjustment, the light source. Where is that share of the microscope? I don't have anything. So I have the base, which is the missing part here. This is the missing part. So here I can write just the name, which is when you have such a question, start to remember and to list the parts that you see. The one that you skip it and you didn't say its name, this is the missing part. That's why in the lesson of microscope, we have to study the picture carefully. Then the last question, it's the easiest question. True or false? We have to say only if it is true or false. Objectives are the parts that magnify the picture of microorganisms. So objectives, these are the objectives. They magnify the picture of microorganisms. They make the picture of microorganisms to be bigger. Microorganisms from its name, micro means tiny, organisms, living things. So yes, it is true. The objectives are the parts that make the picture to be bigger and enlarged so that we can see it clearly. The second one, eyepiece is the part that we look through it. Is it true or false? Eyepiece, yes, from its name, eye, so it's related to the eyes where we see through uh, with them. So yes, also this one is true. The last one, fine adjustment knob is the part that moves the stage. This one, you'll hear fine adjustment knob. Is it to move the stage up and down? No, it is false. So it's not the part to move the stage. If the question said only true or false, what if I change the question and I make it to put true or false and then correct a false statement? In this case, we have to write the correction of the false statement. Since part C is false, fine adjustment knob is the part that moves the stage false, so we have to correct it. What is the part that move the stage, it's not the fine. The part that moves it is the course adjustment group. Or we can uh, cross this part, moves the stage, and write the function of the fine adjustment group, which is making our focusing on the uh, microorganism so that I can study it clearly. Okay, now I have finished this video. If you like it and find it helpful, please don't hesitate to like it and to subscribe to my channel.
Thank you.